the news anchor grilled the former Prime Minister on his support for calls for a second Brexit referendum. Mr Fry dismissed Mr Blair's hopes for a second vote on UK membership of the European Union, saying it would not be realistically possible to hold a second poll on the issue. He said, realistically there is not going to be a second referendum. Do you think there's a problem with someone like you, Tony Blair, former Prime Minister, not beloved in the Labour Party at the moment, making this point? Channel 4 News Brexit News Matt Fry ripped into Tony Blair for his support for a second Brexit vote. Many people see you as the embodiment of the metropolitan elite against which they voted. You are part of the problem here in making the argument for a second Brexit vote. Mr Blair argued that his support for a fresh vote stemmed from his experience as PM and claimed Brexit would do much damage to Britain. He told the Channel 4 News presenter, you know, 16 million people voted to remain. OK, 17 million voted to leave but the 16 million cannot all be described as part of the metropolitan elite. The truth is that there are people from the elite on both sides. This is an issue that is so important that precisely because I've been Prime Minister for 10 years I can see how much damage this is going to do. You are part of the problem here in making this argument Matt Fry the former PM also said he does not think the Labour Party will support the final Brexit agreement the Tory will agree on with Brussels. He continued, I would be astonished if the Labour Party voted for a Tory Brexit. You get conflicting signals but that is the one thing that really would split the Labour Party absolutely in a fundamental way. If the government puts a deal to Parliament and MPs think you know what, this actually isn't that good a deal for Britain dash either because we end up becoming rule takers without being rule makers, or alternatively, we are disrupting half our trade as a nation, then I think it's possible you get the thing blocked in Parliament. If it gets blocked in Parliament the simplest answer to that is to say that the people made the original decision, now we have the actual alternative, the people should carry on having the right to have a decision and the people should have a vote on it.